let's learn about measuring time using a clock. But before that, let's see few devices used before clock. Water clock, candle clock, sand clock, sundial. Let's learn something about the clock. A clock is a device that tells us the time. Some clocks can give the date as well as the time and a few give other information. There are different types of clocks. Let's learn about the parts of a clock. A clock has a short hand which is also known as an hour hand, a long hand which is known as a minute hand, a second hand, the numbers are known as hour numbers and the lines between the numbers are known as minute lines. The clock also has a face on which the numbers are placed. The numbers can be international numbers or Roman numbers. Let's learn some key points. Clocks measure time in hours and minutes. The hour hand is shorter and the minute hand is longer. Between two edges in numbers, there is a difference of 5 minutes. We can use the 5 times table for counting the minutes. There are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. There are 24 hours in one day. In this video, we will be learning about the term o'clock, half past, quarter to and quarter past. Let's get started. O'clock. When we use the term o'clock, the minute hand is at the top of the clock on the number 12 and the hour hand can be on any hour number. So we read the time as 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock and so on. Let's see some more examples. Here the minute hand points on number 12 and the hour hand points number 4. So it's 4 o'clock. This clock shows the time 7 o'clock and here it is 8 o'clock. Let's learn about half past. When we use the term half past, the minute hand has moved halfway around the clock and it always points on the number 6 and the hour hand can be between any two hour numbers. So we read the time as half past 1, half past 2, half past 3 and so on. Let's see some more examples. Here the minute hand points number 6 and the hour hand is between 5 and 6. So it is half past 5. This clock shows the time half past 8 and here it is half past 11. Let's learn about quarter to. When we use the term quarter to, the minute hand always points on the number 9 and the hour hand moves a little away from any hour number. So we read the time as quarter to 12, quarter to 1, quarter to 2, quarter to 3 and so on. Let's see some more examples. Here the minute hand points number 9 and the hour hand is reaching 5. So it is quarter to 5. This clock shows the time quarter to 6 and here it is quarter to 8. Let's learn about quarter past. When we use the term quarter past, the minute hand has moved a quarter way around the clock and it always points to the number 3 and the hour hand moves a little away from the hour number. So we read the time as quarter past 12, quarter past 1, quarter past 2 and so on. Let's see some more examples. Here the minute hand points number 3 and the hour hand is a little away from 7 so it is quarter past 7. This clock shows the time quarter past 8 and here it is quarter past 10. Always remember, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes, half an hour is equal to 30 minutes, a quarter of an hour is equal to 15 minutes, 3 quarter of an hour is equal to 45 minutes. After 12 o'clock, we start measuring time again from 1. Hour and minute are the units for measuring time. So I hope children you'll have understood about measuring time. Thank you and please like and subscribe.